Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Arm Swing Breakdown. I am the Volley Nerd, and today we will be analyzing the arm swing of Yuji Nishida. Before we begin today's breakdown, I'd like to talk about why I tend to use video of jump serves to analyze swing mechanics. Simply put, a serve has the least variable variables out of any swing in volleyball. There are no blockers, there is no setter, and the net does not impede the server in their jump or swing. Essentially, the server can show us their best version of their arm swing. So Nishida's analysis was requested multiple times, and his popularity as a player has risen dramatically following his performance at the World Cup and the Olympics in recent years. So, today's video is taken from the World Cup broadcast in 2019, and I'll put the video link to that in the description below. So let's watch this video through first at full speed, and then we'll break it down. An absolutely ridiculous serve. Crazy amount of spin on it. He's super aggressive into his approach, punches really hard, and then unloads on a ball. And as you can see, the actual path of the ball starts more in the center and then drifts off to the side because he contacts the ball to just beside center. It's kind of hard to see on this low quality video, but you can see even here, his hand is to the left of the center of the ball. Not so far that the ball drifts all the way out of bounds, but just enough to give it that side spin to make it around the passer and into the seam, and he obviously wasn't prepared for it. So, let's talk about mechanics. First things first. Very comfortable, neutral setup. He starts slowly and then pushes off aggressively into his last two steps. Punches it, swings down with his arms, brings them up fast, and then he's in midair. So right here, even before he's fully lifted off the ground, he's already starting his draw, keeping his arm very low. So this is at the same level. He is not, his arm is not, or his hitting arm is not above his shoulders. It is actually at shoulder level. And thus, when he brings it into draw, it is perfectly in line with his shoulders. Now, Nishida's jump serve and most of his swings are pretty distinctive. He tends to stay more compact than a lot of other players. And this is where I believe he can draw a lot of power from, you know, seeing that he's a smaller player. Most international volleyball players are not under 6'4", especially as a hitter. So he's very, he stays on this line the entire swing. Yeah, very compact. Unusual, but extremely effective. So let's see this draw again. The other hand stays up nice and high, spotting the ball and also providing the impetus when he pulls it down to begin that rotation around center. So arm comes down and the rotation begins. So right here, he is extremely open. Hips have already closed, shoulders are still open, hand is up, but if we look even further back, his hand starts at almost parallel, and then as he begins the swing, so you can notice in Nishida's jump serve, his feet will kick down right as he starts his initiation into the swing. Some players do this, it's not super common, um, but ultimately, both of these actions around his center of gravity balance each other out to create this enormous force into the ball. And with Nishida, you know it's going to be a ton of force. So, the three things we're looking for neutral shoulder level draw shoulders stay open as hips close which creates the hip shoulder separation and then nice high 
contact while maintaining shoulder integrity and follow through. Phenomenal serve, great results. And this is just the sort of thing that Nishida does day in and day out. Lovely mechanics. So, let's see it one more time. Excellent. All right, so that's all for the video analysis of Yuji Nishida. If you liked what you saw and you would like to see some more, go ahead and subscribe. And if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like and comment who you would like to see next. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.